Let's talk about the differences between the Bandit Rifles and the Battle Rifle. The Bandit Evo Rifle Red Radical Range right here is 34.4 meters, which is the same here as the regular Bandit Rifle, compared to the Battle Rifle, which is 30.5 meters. Scoped in, the Bandit Evo Rifle has a range of 55 meters for red reticle. For the regular bandit, we have a red reticle range of scoped in at 48.1 meters. Here's a big difference with the battle rifle. The scoped in red reticle range here is actually 91.2 meters. Now let's look at recoil and spread. With the regular bandit rifle, it has this progressive recoil that really kicks in in the last few shots. We can see it really starts kicking up. That's no recoil management there. The bandit evo rifle, on the other hand, you can see it resets its recoil after each shot and the spread also resets each shot as well so there really isn't much in the way of recoil management needed battle rifle is very similar where it has like this vertical kick to it where you can actually kind of aim more upper chest to land your headshots more consistently but kind of the same kind of recoil pattern as the evo when it comes to total ammo count the evo actually has the advantage with this whole situation because with the regular bandit rifle it's 15 in the magazine 45 in reserve and for maximum ammo and then for the evo it's 15 in the magazine and 60 in reserve but the battle rifle you see has 36 in the magazine 216 in reserve when it comes to magnification, we have the regular bandit rifle has a 1.4 times zoom with no D scope on it, which is very important why they made the Evo right here, which has a 1.6 time zoom and it does have d scope with it so if you get shot while scoped in with the evo you do get d scope for the rank side of things this makes a huge difference especially when it comes to the battle rifle here because this has a 2.5 time zoom with d scope that's why the red radical range is so much further with the battle rifle which we'll discuss later in this video why that's important so let's test out aim assist as, as a crucial part when it comes to halo's gameplay within red relic ranger i'm only only will be using my left stick to move left and right on this one for the strafing and you can see this is where the aim assist kind of kicks in pretty decent little pull right there. Now let's switch over to the regular bandit rifle and it really does feel and look about the same. It really isn't much of a difference between the two. Obviously red radical range is different between these two weapons, which that's where your aim assist will kick in within red radical range. Compare this to the battle rifle and honestly it does kind of feel the same as well. So a bit of parody there as well. Now let's test out the most important thing, the time to kill. The bandit evo here is a seven shot kill to the body. So is the regular bandit rifle, seven shot kill to the body. Will actually get you your kills and for some parity here is also the seven shot kill for the body when it comes to using the battle rifle the bandit evo is a five shot kill to the head for a perfect same thing for the regular bandit rifle is a five shot kill to the head compared to the battle rifle which is a four shot kill perfect well let's compare those times So why make the change, especially in rank, to add in the Evo rifle as the starting rifle over the battle rifle? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, from my experience of playing with it as a starting weapon, I find that the Bandit Evo rifle might actually be the best option when it comes to Halo Infinite Sandbox. Let me explain. Since the Evo is a single shot weapon, it requires a certain type of precision that's different than the battle rifle. The battle rifle is a three round burst, so it kind of gives you a little bit of lead where you actually kind of swipe over to land your shots in the hit, where the Bandit rifle, you can't really do that as it is a single fire shot and from my experience of playing this actually makes strafing much more viable in gunfights when it comes to playing against a, an evil rifle compared to a battle rifle let me show you why watch this clip of snipe down right here where he gets in his first gunfight and he's low shields the whole time and he's one shot again against the other player he's able to out strafe him to where he can actually get the second kill this is what skill gap looks in real time if this was a battle rifle snipe down would have been dead real easy because the battle rifle like i said has a bit of a spread to it you don't have to be insanely accurate like you do with the evo even though the battle rifle has a slightly shorter red radical range unscoped scoped in the red radical range is 91.2 meters compared to the evo rifle the scoped in is 55 meters and the regular bandit is 48.1 meters scoped in this shorter red radical range scoped in when it comes to the evo allows for players to be able to traverse the map a little bit more so you're not getting cross mapped against a battle rifle which has a bit of a spread has a bit more forgiveness to it which makes it easier to land shots but if you are within that red radical range you can beam across the map this kind of falls in line with like that halo 2 philosophy of the weapons because back then in halo 2 there were hit scan where if they're in red radical range the ball would just travel super fast and land right where you were aiming if you're out of that red radical range you would have to lead your shots a bit and less aim assist and bullet magnetism meaning that it was really not effective to try to cross map people this will drastically change map design for any forge maps 
coming in in the future when it comes to ranked and also just player movement on the map be a little bit more forgiving to let people not have to stand back in the map try to clear out people before you can even do anything on the map though i am a battle rifle fanboy it's one of my favorite weapons of all time in halo to not have it be the starting weapon just hurts a little bit but after playing with the evo rifle i definitely would agree that yes this does let skill shine more with the evo rifle compared to the battle rifle let me know what you think about this change in the comments down below thank you all for watching catch you on the next one peace out